Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video I will teach you step by step how to withdraw and how to deposit crypto on Polynex. So the first thing you need to do if you want to deposit on Polynex is to go over to wallet in the top right and there you need to click on it. You'll then need to click on the deposit button. Here you can select the asset you want to deposit. So in my case it will be RSR but please be aware that there's a lot of cryptocurrencies that for some reason you can deposit. And if you can't deposit your cryptocurrency on Polynex, I recommend you trade your cryptocurrency into a currency that is available on this exchange and then transfer it back once you're on the exchange itself. So I'll go ahead, search for RSR and click on the coin. The next thing you need to do is to copy your address. You can just do this by clicking on the copy button right here. And once you've copied your address, you need to go over to another exchange. For me, this will be Binance, but the process will be the same on any other exchange. Over on the other exchange, you need to search for a button saying withdraw. Now on Binance, this button is located below the wallet section on their Fide and Spot page. So once the Fide and Spot page is loaded, you want to click on the withdraw button. You'll then need to select the coin you want to withdraw. Always be sure to select the same coin on the other exchange as you have selected on Polynex. Because if you send your cryptocurrency to the address of another coin, you'll lose all the funds you're transferring. So since I've got RSR selected on this exchange, I'll go over to Binance, click on the coin selector and search for RSR. Once you've done that, you can now go ahead and paste in your address. There is a chance that your wallet address has automatically been matched to the corresponding network, but if it's not, I recommend you do a quick Google search. You could Google something like which network does support transferring and then the name of the currency you want to transfer. The next thing you need to do is to fill in the amount you would like to transfer. You can fill in this amount manually or you can click on the max button to select all of the available holdings. And once you have selected the coin, the address, the network and the amount, all that's left to do is to click on the withdrawal button. Please make sure to double check all the information to make sure you haven't made any mistakes and then click on the continue button. You'll then need to go through the security verification process, but this is quite easy because all you need to do is to click on get code and fill in the codes you receive on your email and maybe on your phone. And once you've done that, the last and final thing you need to do is to click on submit. I will now show you how to withdraw on Polynex. What you need to do is to go over to wallet and then you want to click on the withdrawal button in the top right. As you can see, I can't withdraw because I don't have any assets on my account, but I can tell you what you need to fill in. First off, you should select the coin you want to transfer. Once you've done that, you need to go over to another exchange and search for the deposit button on Binance. This button is located below the wallet section on their finance spot page. And once you've found the deposit button, you need to click on it. You'll then need to select the coin you want to deposit. This is the same coin as you have selected on Polynex, so that will be RSR. Then the network will be selected, and you need to click on the copy button. And by the way, if your network isn't instantly selected, I recommend you do a quick Google search. You could Google something like which network to use to transfer, and then the name of the currency you want to transfer. Once you have copied your address, you need to go over to Polynex and paste your address in. Once you've done that, the next thing you need to do is to fill in the amount of coins you would like to transfer. And if you need to select a network for your withdrawal, make sure to select the same network as you have selected on the other exchange. And once you've done that, all that's left to do is to click on the withdrawal button. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.